Hi, it's Tom here from FDS, and today we're going to look at the ways of correctly removing all the circuitry from this, which is a racket, rapid strike circuit board. Now we have Coop and his typically American sledgehammer to crack a nut approach to thank for lots of broken motor tags. This is a very common thing that I see people saying is, No, I broke my motor tags taking off the resistors. So I'm going to go over the correct way to do this, which doesn't involve smashing anything. Now you will need some tools. You will need a pair of reasonable side cutters. These aren't expensive, they could be had for less than $10. These were four pounds for a UK folk. And you will also need a soldering iron because you have to desolder the tags. Unfortunately, that's just the way of the world and breaking them is for noobs. So start off with the top and have to get some heat into these contacts here on the top. Hopefully my soldering iron's got hot enough now. And you're just gonna leave it on there, get the solder nice and molten. There you go, and that just lifts off. So now we can see what's underneath. Get the wiring out of the way. Here's your circuit board here, and uh, all of this is the uh, radio interference suppression equipment, which is um, put on all blasters to stop the motors interfering with any radio or TV or anything like that, any analog signals. So what we are not going to do is we are not going to pull off this circuit board here. So we start by taking off this nub here, and that just stops you lifting the circuit board off. And then we have to desolder this connection here and this connection here, and there's also in the middle a little tiny wire that goes down and grounds the case of the motor. So we have to snip that little wire, that's where our cutters come in, and then we're gonna desolder these a pair at a time and lift them off. Now, when you're setting the motors up, if you're going to rewire, what you can do is you can take this cover off, and if you're going for um, ordinary rotation and you're leaving the motors in the cans, then you put a plus mark on this side and a negative mark on this side and your plus wire to the uh, from the rev trigger will go here and your negative wire to the battery will go on the back. I realise that's the opposite way around to the way that I wire my mod motors, but I like to be different. So if you want to follow the standard factory setup, when you mark these, just mark plus plus, minus minus, and then when you take the motors out, you'll know which way around to put it and your darts will go forwards. So plate. Take the stop off like that. And then we need to get some heat into these. Now this can be quite tricky to do. It's especially hard to do when you're trying to demonstrate it for the camera. So I'm going to try and extract some of the solder a little bit first because it makes it easier later. And you don't want to put pressure on the motor tags. If you do that, you're going to break something. So having done that, I'm ready to detach. So I've got to snip that little tiny wire out. And you have to just get your clippers down inside and cut the wire. If you can't cut the wire, you can just desolder it at the top. Sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. Hopefully that's worked through that wire without doing it too much damage. You can see here, that little wire has now come away. And I'm ready to do the tags. So it's worth noting, there is a small blob of a, some sort of adhesive, I think, there, from where the uh, top tag was attached. And it's worth just loosening this tab a little bit and be careful, you don't want to bend these tags, they're the thing that you really don't want to bend. So, a little bit of heat now, push them back, flick the solder away, take the solder as much as the solder as you can first. There you go, and you can see we've melted that off, so that's one side look free. So we're just going to go over to the other side now, and get some heat into the other side. Push the tags back, heat, push the tag back, and gently lift the circuit board away. It's very hard to do one show for the camera at the same time. I don't normally have to do three things at once. Yeah. You can see there that I didn't quite get that little wire, so I'll just snip that free. And there you go. Right, and that leaves, look, nice, undamaged. There you go, you can see all four motor tags are in lovely condition. Another myth that's worth busting while we've got this apart is that you have to replace the motors on the rapid strike. And I've seen a number of people just buying absolute cack. 130 motors off of eBay in the belief that shoving a motor in will will magically transform their blaster into a dart slinging beast. The stock motors are actually not that bad. They might be metal brush and they might not be uh, quite at the level of some of the aftermarket motors, but you can get good mid 90s averages out of these on 2S. If you're starting out, that is what I suggest you do. Don't worry about replacing the motors. Don't even worry about replacing the brush pack. Um, you can lift this plastic end bell off 
get to the brushes and then replace them with some carbon ones from some cheap generic carbon 130s. But I really, I've never bothered with that. I've got three rapid strikes that run these stock motors that I use for indoor games. And uh, the youngest one of those is over a year old and has been used at least every month for a couple of hours of pure war play and it's still not bust and their motors haven't burnt out. Similarly, I've got strifes that have done three year service on 2S with these motors. So 2S will give you good performance for uh, compared to stock and uh, without any kind of real problems on these stock motors. If you rewire properly and run a 2S LiPo, then at a later date you can hop up your motors if you want more power and you've got all the loom in place. And all you've got to do is if you make a plug-in loom, unplug it, make a new little mini loom for your new motors and plug it back in. If you don't make a plug-in loom, you've got to unsolder the tags, put the new motors in and sold the tags back. I mean, how hard's that? So there you have it. That's how you take off the circuit boards from your rapid strike motors.